and welcome to Restoril. The long winter wait is over and we're here for the opening rounds of the 2018 International GT Open. Reigning champion Giovanni Venturini returns with the Imperial Racing squad, but elsewhere there are plenty of changes throughout the paddock. We've got some very promising new entries, we've got some returning old favourites, and we've got our 2015 and 16 champions, Miguel Ramos and Fabrizio Cristani, teaming up in the same car. We should have a fantastic season of racing. So let's have a look at the very best of the action from the opening rounds. It's Mikel Mack who had pole position for the opening race of the year and he had to get his elbows out early on to keep Tom Onslow Cole from slipping past him. Andrea Montermini also squeezed so they headed towards turn one but it's Mack who led the way from Giovanni Venturini. It's always a little bit wrong though then at turn three. Rick Broika's spinning after contact with several cars, Ollie Wilkinson and Marcello Hahn also caught up in it. We lost Marcio Basso after contact with Giuseppe Cipriani in the early stages too. There was some frenetic dicing going on throughout the field as Andrea Montomini was charging through the field. And that resulted in a spin for Fabrizio Cristani. Cristani, though, well in the mix doing battle with Raffaele Giamria. That also ended in tears. This time it was Giamria who rotated through the gravel trap. Post pit stops and Daniele Diamato was lying. Having taken over from Andrea Montermini, moving clear first of all of Alex West, then Valentin Pirbo for a late chase down of Andres Saravia, who was at that point in third position. While Damiano Fiorenti also pushing very hard, he made contact with West. This was the move, though, that put Daniele Diamato into third position. Overall, at the front of the field, Alessandro Pierguini and Mikel Mack dominating the race for Luzic Racing. Maybe victory on the team's debut. Fantastic performance for them. Jerome Mull, Giovanni Ventrini in second, with Daniele Diamato and Andrea Montermini completing the podium. Valentin Pierberg, Thomas Locole winning the Pro-Am class. Louis Silva and Antonio Coimbra, Am class honours. We have it under control and uh, for us we had a very good car. The guys in Lutzig Racing made a perfect car for us this morning in the qualifying for me. And for the race I feel the car was very good and uh, the result talks for itself. And Alessandro Pierguidi back to uh, P1 in the GT Open after uh, many years. <laughs> and now as a world champion, welcome back. Yeah, thank you. It's a great way to come back, so I'm very happy about that. About for losing racing, first of all, because it's the first race and completely new. They put a great effort. Uh, but we did a great job in these two low days in the practice. And uh, at the end, we put all together for today, and the car was great. So uh, it was not easy, like, uh, like it seems, because it's never easy win. So we push, and, uh, but the car was so great, and uh, the, the, the setup, especially. So also the entire deck here in this track is very high and we manage very well, so that was the key of the race. So from pole position, Toby Sari got jumped as they headed down towards the first turn with a fast starting Jerome Mull slipping into the lead around the outside of Sandro Pierre Guidi. Behind, there was plenty of dicing as Nicolai Costa went wheel to wheel with Alan Kader. Also charging through the field with Daniele Diamato, the RS Racing Ferrari, and it started 16th on the grid. Costa was very entertaining through his stint, easing clear of Martin Conrad as well with a bold move. But the chicane, Jatong Yang, also came under pressure from Julio Borlenghi. Alan Coder was forced into some fairly redoubtable defence much of the first half of the race. But then this was battled for fourth place. Kang Ling fighting with Andrea Montoni. This move, though, that decided proceedings with Rick Broikers demoted by Mikel Mack shortly after the pit stops. Kang Ling raced through to an excellent fourth place. Andrea Montoni has come home in fifth 
rising lead for the final quarter of the race. Behind, there was some um, super dicing and also some great progress. That slightly less glorious moment, unfortunately, for Giuseppe Cipriani, costing him the chance of a pro-am podium. For Mikel Mack and Alessandro Pierguini, it's been an absolutely perfect weekend. They take the maximum points haul from the opening two races of the season in Estoril. Claiming victory from Giovanni Ventrini and Romul Rickus from Agostini lead to the podium. We had two wins and uh, that's that's more than we hoped for. Um, everything was just very good for us from quality one to, to now. Uh, we find this right setup. It was uh, spot on, so I think we can be very happy. Uh, Alessandro made a very good job today uh, to make a gap for me, and then we have the penalties, but uh, it looked good. It was nice to be out there and uh, win again. It was uh, more than I hoped for. Alessandro, how was the start and first team? The start was quite good. I jumped immediately to the second position, and then I knew I had to overtake the Lambo to create a small gap for, for Mikkel. Because we, because the penalty, and I did it. I was able to to manage the gap to create a small gap, but that enough to be in front of at least of one and Lambo, and then Mikel overtook the other one, so he did an amazing job. Uh, it's a great weekend for us, and I look forward for the next one. <laughs>